What is up? Time has finally come. But first, Alexa, turn that off. The bastard water heater. Getting ready to do my first test operation. Probably going to be a brief one here. Yeah, timed out. So I just got done piping in my loop pump. Added some T's. So um, comes out here, comes out the coldest, and then it goes through and comes out and goes back into the hot. Hopefully that works well doing it that way. I think it'll have better pressures and just, you know. Turn it to hot. You can do it. There we go. All the way left. <laughs> Guarantee you the, this side's gonna drop like a rock and it just did. It was just, it was just 122 or something a second ago. These are dropping like a rock. All right, turn off the water. Turn it off. As soon as she does that, I guarantee this is gonna shoot up, and there it goes. Faster than I than I could have walked in here. I think just started easily shooting up to the actual water tank temperature. So, uh, yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> I just was thinking about everything else. I did all this work after I got home from work, and somebody told me to probably either tap into the drain with the T, or maybe right here. So, yeah, those two T's I put in were probably worthless. Okay, take two. Alexa, turn that off. <laughs> Get ready to hit 11.10 a.m. and I'm gonna fire this sucker up. The water temperature is 90 degrees in the tank. Pulling a couple tenths of an amp for that blower. Okay, 11.10, start. Start 11.10 a.m. Let's see what the sucker could do to heat up my tank. I just had to repipe <laughs> the inlet water. I uh, wasn't thinking about this. when <laughs> I was too worried about this stuff. When I just quickly piped that into the top, I teed it in up there. It takes cold water right through and right back to the hot, which uh, mixes in when uh, you take the water out. Even taking the water down here is still going to take some of this water and mix it in. So I don't know if I'll have to put a, probably a valve in to stop the recirculation when uh, the pump and heat is not running. So I'll probably have to go get myself a valve actuator for that. Right now, everything's running. Outlet is up to 98. Total system amp, 7.9. Inlet water temperature, 89. So the tank's at 89. About 99, so getting almost at 10 degrees. Heat rise right now. Head pressure is nice and low at 220. <laughs> 77 on suction. 62 supply air. Uh, what did that say earlier? It was 90 something. Uh, so I've been getting like 30 degree. I could probably speed the fan up. Uh, I believe it's this one. Take the 24 volts away. And the fan speeds up. That should put a little more load on the suction side. And simply slowing the fan down as the water gets warmer and the head pressure kind of climbs, that might actually reduce a little capacity. My amps have gone up a little bit. Of course, my blower amps are probably up closer to an amp now since I turned that speed up. So 8.7 for total. So we're still using less than half of what the water heater would draw. Supposedly this could be as much as like 28, 29,000 BTUs. I think a 5K heat strip was uh, 17, 18,000 BTUs from what I was looking up at 20 amps. And I'm making more than that at less than 10 amps. 
Plus, the same electricity being used is doing a temperature drop in the garage. Actually, I need to close my garage door for that. That's still dying. Okay, it's been five minutes. Head pressure's still only 239. 67. Uh, water 93, 103, 104. Still 10 degrees rise. Um, I could see if I turn this up. Eh, no, I don't want to do that. I could get more performance by speeding up the compressor, but that really changes the amperage. Uh, you know, you, you, get this, you get a lot of savings just by dropping down 10%. Well, you lose a lot if you raise it. I'll show you, change it to 70. You watch those amps. 8.9. Go up to 70. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're not going to overdrive the compressor because rather just let it take the normal time to heat up rather than costing us electricity even though that is still less than what the 5k heat heatstroke is i guarantee this is still heating up as fast as the electric so we'll leave this at 60 until i have to shut it down for critical towards the end tank 95 leaving 105 so heated the water uh up over five six degrees already well over five minutes 244 and 85 65 degree air blowing which is nice and another six minutes 11 21 263 over 88 spire 64 can't see the temperature on eco position <laughs> trying to connect to the wi-fi uh water 101 in the tank 110 leaving total amps 9.2 so less than half of one here. So we've already got the tank up to 101. I think 120 is pretty much a target. So a third of the way there from what it was. Okay, it's been another five minutes. Down 26. Still under 300 psi, luckily. 285 over 90. 64 supply still. Uh, water's up to 108, right about there. About 116 leaving. Let's get a fan on high. Wow, it was fun. I just got done arguing with Alexa because it was playing Madonna on a station for Quiet Riot type music. Ugh. All right, 11:32. Getting a little over 300 psi. Still 64. I can go ahead and slow my blower down now if I want. Oh, I hate when that counts out. So, leaving water is 121. The tank is at 113, almost 114. Total amps. Uh, 10 amps. All right, so it's going to be hard to do right now, but if I want to slow down my blower a little bit instead of just plugging this directly into 24 volts and going to uh, the slowest speed, as I have, you know, marked right here. Uh, oh, up here. Which I have kind of diagram down there. I'm just gonna stick this diode. It'll stay. A little diode there in between the 24 volt terminal and that input. That's gonna slow my blower down. See how my total amps went down below 10 again? Because I'm drawing out like a fourth of the current to run the speed at like half. This is how it works. It's awesome. All right. So I should drop my head pressure a little bit. I think it did earlier. So 310, uh, starting to push the compressor a little bit, but I think the other day, let's see, so I got 10 degrees subcooling, 14 degrees, um, see how the, blow, the temperature went down to 60. Now at this point, the tank is at one, we're only four degrees from set point, so I don't know if I should even slow that down, but just the shits and giggles, if I do drop uh, down to 50 hertz, gonna drop my head pressure probably below the 300 but more importantly total system amps all the way down 8.4 <laughs> yeah so I, I probably should have switched that a little earlier but look the head pressure is still kind of up there it's probably still generating nearly the same amount of heat we'll find out in a second now that we're approaching uh, tank temperature so 8.4 amps 
Water coming in here is still one. Oh yeah, it's almost 117. We're getting ready to shut this sucker off. 122. I don't know if it's still putting out as many BTUs, but this fire still feels pretty good. EcoBee, what are you doing? It's a really expensive thermostat I've just beaten on out here. <laughs> and just for shifts and giggles, if I drop this down to 40 hertz, my total system amps drop down to 7. And that's up at the upper extreme. What, 18? See what happens to my leaving water. 127. That should start causing my supply air to, to rise, which it is doing. So, might find out that probably don't even, maybe not even bother. Oh, and I can slow the blower down even more. Take the diode out. Oh, speed it up. And take the diode out and plug that in for full wave. That's how it knows to go to the uh, slowest speed. So I could make myself a controller, watch the output temperature, and probably once it starts getting up there towards the 120, start staging down things, the uh, blower, and maybe the compressor too, together. Maybe in the preset frequencies, like drop from 60 to 50, go to medium or something on the fan, and then, uh, then go from 50 hertz to 40 hertz and go to slow speed on the fan. Just kind of baby the sucker up to the final set point. head pressure is definitely nothing I'm going to worry about. I lowered the fan speed so it's still getting a pretty decent temperature drop. Remember it's like probably over 90 in here. Now this thing reconfigured <laughs> saying it's 80 in here now. If that's true since I had that thing uh, earlier at a, you know 1110 I guess it was that'd be quite remarkable. I can find out what the actual temperature is more accurately when I do shut off the compressor and run fan only. We'll do. We're using the same thermometer at that point, um, but I'm getting ready to have to shut this off at uh, the 120 degree tank temperature, which means that uh, that would be a 30 minute runtime. And then 76 volts across the compressor, six amp, wait, eight amps. So. The wattage is quite reduced at that point. Yeah, we're pretty much at 120. Let's look at the final amps here. Total amps, less than seven for the blower and compressor. Okay, we're still not going up real high. It seems like we're kind of reached a ceiling with that. I'd probably go higher, perhaps maybe if I let the compressor go into torture mode. Um, and maybe I'll do that in a few minutes. After I stop it, I'll restart it. Let's see what we accomplish here. 120. So let's shut this off at 120. That was in 28 minutes. A little less than 30 minutes to recover my tank. From work, um, and that tank was that was absolutely down to like 80 something, whatever it was. So I mean, it was it would have been like somebody had used up all the hot water. So it's been more like five minutes. Almost forgot to check, but. Uh, Supplier is neutralized to 87. So I have to look to see what it was before. And I'll put that on the screen. So I did have the garage door open for the first several minutes of the test before I closed it. So I don't know what kind of free cooling I'm getting in here, but it does blow cool air in my garage whenever it heats the water. And it should use like half the power, maybe even less than half the power. I never did do a, a test how long it would take to recover with the standard heating element. It's 50 gallons. But uh, if it's 17,000 BTUs for a 5kW heater, I'm assuming this has a 5kW. That's the standard. No, that's a 4.5. So it's got even less than that. But 5kW is 20 amps, so that's probably just slightly under. Yeah, so it's 
they should be putting more BTUs in than uh, that. So it takes a little less time to heat, taking like half the amps, maybe even less at times. So, and it's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, I just need to make a control for it now. And that's going to be my problem, making the control in my uh, Frankenstein Laboratories. Not a big deal for me. It's just, can't let this be no another one of those projects that I start and kind of get distracted from and don't finish. But, but for right now, we ain't getting no hot water unless I come out here and manually turn this on. Because uh, I have the heating element disconnected at that little J box up there. Anyway, that does it for today. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and all that stuff. We'll see how this bastard water heater project turns out.